Akron Athletics presents Zips Weekly with John Gross. Sponsored by Bryant Heating and Cooling. And Hilton Hotels in Akron and Fairlawn. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Zips Weekly with Ed Basketball Coach John Gross. Well, if you're an Akron fan, you might still be celebrating after Zips went up to Cleveland this past weekend, won three straight games. They claimed the Mid-American Conference Tournament Championship, and now it's on the March Madness. Zips will head to Pittsburgh to take on Creighton on Thursday and coach three nail biters up in Cleveland. Tough to coach. The fans biting those nails and pulled three out. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. What an unbelievable run yeah. by our guys. And you're right. All three games were different and oh, had yeah. their own challenges. I think. You know, the, the phrase that, that we coined that I thought really rang true with our guys is mental toughness yeah. required. And uh, boy, did they exhibit that. Uh, starting with Miami in the quarters where we took an unbelievable early shot from them. Seemed like every shot they were taking, Joe, was going in to start the You're game. Right. You're right. And we'll uh, yeah. we had to then get through that and find a way to tweak a couple things and be a little more impactful defensively. And, uh, Thought our offense was pretty steady throughout yeah. that quarterfinal game and uh, find a way to win it. Exactly. Well, let's go back up to Cleveland. First round game up to the number seven seed, the Miami Red Hawks. Let's pick up highlights. Coach, uh, we had already gotten beat once by these guys down in the last second shot down in Oxford. No, Travis does a great job, obviously, um, putting them in position to be successful. And I think it really starts with Marambo, Joe. And yes. he just puts you in a really tough spots in a blender because he can play inside and outside and he's such an elite passer and uh, he got off to a great start as did their team but our guys really responded uh, as you're watching the highlights here different guys making plays great finish there by Thornton here we have good spacing four round one Thornton again gets another layup uh, reek with a great pass on a post dive cut by Scott for a layup deflection there by Greg I thought we just kept hanging in there yeah. And then once we got the lead, Joe, about halfway through the first half, I really felt like we were in control of the game. You were right, Coach. I think that first break, I looked down at the score sheet. They were shooting 78% from the field after the first break. Yeah, it was incredible. And uh, a lot of them were tough shots, so give them credit. Yeah. I thought their guys really stepped up and were ready to play. And, but again, our response, here you see Ali in a couple pick and rolls with Freeman. Uh, did a nice job there delivering the ball in the deep roll. Here, Freeman gets a deflection. I thought our defense got really active, really stepped up. Greg with a shot block. And we, our guys really played with a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, detailed defensively uh, throughout the course of the tournament, really. But uh, in particular, after the first five or six minutes of this Miami quarterfinal game. Yeah, that was a great block by Greg Tribble. I think they called a foul on that. I thought it was pretty clean. No, it's an unbelievable play. <laughs> Yeah, you can say that, Joe. I can't. Yes. I don't want to get fined. <laughs> but no, it, well, I, I, I agree with you. In my opinion, it was a clean block. Shema Scott, I think their dribble drive is going to tie the game at 29-29. We'll see that in a minute, Coach. Then the Zips get a big dunk from Enrique Freeman and uh, take a two-point halftime lead at 37-35. Yeah, no question. Big momentum play there. You see Tavari Johnson making a couple plays here in the clips. Had a big, uh, you know, was a thief on the one play. Pickpockets the guy, gets a layup. Uh, Scott made a lot of good plays for us yes. throughout the course of the tournament. Thought he grew up uh, in large measure. And then Ali was a load. Obviously, at six foot eight, when you're a guard like Ali, uh, he has some advantageous situations against smaller guards. Yeah. Took advantage of those. Great pick and roll pass there by Tavari, who I thought had several of those in the semifinal yeah. game as well against Ohio, which we'll get to here shortly. Come out in the second half, Coach, and I think you wanted to get in a transition and get a little more aggressive offensively. We did. We got out and ran. Thought we got going in transition, which was an important part of our game plan against Miami. And then we started executing our post-entry, uh, post-trap scheme very well. Saw Sammy Hunter getting a dive off a baseline dive there, cut for a dunk. Uh, here we are in transition again, as you mentioned, Joe. Ali to Freeman uh, with good spacing here. One-hand pocket pass for the flush. Yeah, we're, Zips are up 44-37, as you can see right there. We're going to increase that lead coach to 11 in the under-16 timeout, 50-39. So we're playing well in that yeah, second we, half. I felt like, again, after the first 
in particular, 10 minutes, I really felt like we had control of the game and, and uh, just, but they kept playing. I mean, they, they did to no surprise. Uh, those guys had a really good year playing a bunch of freshmen uh, and newcomers. Well, so we knew they were going to get their best yeah. shot. And when you're in conference tournament play, every possession sure. is valued and matters. We saw kind of a highlight reel dunk there by Enrique Freeman. It looked like he looked, looked like Dr. J coming from the free throw line. On yeah, that great one. pass by Ali being unselfish. And Ali did such a great job from an assist perspective, making our team better up in Cleveland. Under an eight timeout coach, we're up 59. To 49. We'll see that in a minute. But Enrique Freeman, when they try and guard him man up, he they, they just can't do it. No, it's tough. Obviously, he's an elite player, elite rebounder, elite motor, elite finisher, you know, double double. You can keep going. I mean, he's just a really good player. Great pass here on the post entry by Nate Johnson uh, from the middle of the floor. And then Greg bangs a three. Uh, shot it really well all year. Really proud of Greg and the work that he's put in. Uh, Ali with the M1 there. Uh, using Freeman there on the Gortat screen uh, to score. Uh, Scott here, great job finishing it off. And um, obviously got a lot of respect for my brother and the sure. job he's doing there. Future's very bright at Miami. Freeman leads Akron. Unbelievable numbers. 30 points, 12 rebounds. Ali Ali uh, chipped in. 14. Shema had 9. Akron out rebounded Miami. 44-28 in that game, Coach. Yeah, no, the glass was big. Obviously, I thought we were really impactful there. But then Freeman's performance, as you just said, a 30-point yeah. double-double. I mean, it was unbelievable and certainly a big part of our great start in the tournament. Exactly. As the coach said, a great start to the tournament. They're not finished yet, though. They're going to come back the next day, take on the Ohio Bobcats. We'll take a look at those highlights right after this. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes E.H. Roberts Heating and Cooling. Find them at ehroberts.com. Welcome back to Zips Weekly. After the win over Miami, it's on to the Ohio Bobcats, Coach. And we know those guys pretty well. I think we split two games with them this year. No, Jeff's done a really good job. Yeah. I thought they were playing as well as anybody heading yeah. into the MAC tournament. Uh, we knew they were going to be a real challenge to defend. And ironically, in the first half, 16 points, 13 wow. turnovers, you would think you're going to be down by 20-plus. You're right. But it was a 10-point game at halftime because our defense was so good, Joe, in the first half. And really good in the second yes. half. Once our offense took off in the second half, as I said earlier, we scored 49 points in the second half. Shot it really well. I think really what opened the floodgates for us offensively was Sammy Hunter. Oh, yeah. So that was Got his hot. big game of the three. He makes four threes, and they were all huge. They were. Let's go back up to Cleveland. Friday night action as the Zips take on the Ohio Bobcats, the number three seed. And you're going to watch, in my estimation, one of the outstanding comebacks in basketball Akron basketball history coach, as you mentioned, we're down 26-16 at the half. Come back, we're going to win it. What was it like in the bench when that comeback in that second half? Well, it was unbelievable. I thought a big key, I mentioned Sammy Hunter's yeah. shot making from a skill perspective in terms of a key to the victory. But I think maybe the biggest key to the victory, Joe, was Greg Tribble's leadership. So he got in foul trouble during the game. And a lot of times what happens with young guys or players in general is they then get into their own feelings because yeah. they want to be out there. They're in foul trouble. It throws them out of rhythm. Greg's verbal and action-oriented leadership on the bench while he played, when he didn't play, before the game, during the game, timeouts, halftime, I thought it really gave us great poise while we were out there. Nobody panicked. We kept playing. We kept believing. And a lot of that was due to Greg's voice yep. and his impact. And we talk about player-led teams being better than coach-led teams. Uh, obviously, it's our job as coaches to lead. But when you're able to transfer that to your players and your players start doing that, 
then it takes another completely different life of its own in terms of its impact. So I thought his leadership was huge. And then Freeman just had to refuse to lose yeah. disposition, as did a lot of our guys. I mean, 21 rebounds, Joe. I mean, who That's does It's amazing. That? I mean, it's <laughs> MAC tournament record. Uh, and it then catapulted him on day one. Joey became the all-time leading rebounder in Akron yes. basketball history. And then obviously in dramatic style, gets 21 the next day uh, against Ohio and was just absolutely relentless on the backboard and uh, was a big part of the victory. As you mentioned, Coach, the Zips are down at the half, 26-16. I thought the on-the-ball defense in the first half was really good by the Zips. Oh, it was terrific throughout the course of the game. Yeah. There you see a deflection by Shema off the ball in the gap that leads to a leak out. Here you see Rike, uh, Rike bust up the lob there that they were trying to throw to Wisnitzer. Nate makes a big shot here over the top of Jalen Hunter. But once again, you know, Ohio, I have a lot of respect for their players, sure. their seniors, how they play the game, the way they play together. I thought they just kept getting better as the season went on. Jeff did a great job with them. Uh, fortunately, we were able to make enough plays and shot it really well, as you yep. know, Joe, from three in the second half. Hunter. Ali, Shema, making big, just making big shots throughout the course of the second half. It looked like one of the things you wanted to do early in that second half, Coach, is get Ali going. I don't think he had scored in the first half. He kind of put the ball in his hands and said, get it rolling. Yeah, no, he did. He made play after play. Throughout the course of the tournament, led us in assist in totality. I thought Tavari Johnson's minutes in this game, great lesson, Joe. He played 17 minutes and didn't score. Yet he defended Jalen Hunter well, had three assists, timely pick and roll passes to our interior players for me there's one of them there for a meaningful basket there with 10 minutes to go yeah. and we're still behind i thought his play off the bench in this particular game was terrific hunter's shot making it was kt in the miami game it was tavari in the ohio game yeah sammy hunter got co hat got really hot coach hit i think back to back three pointers we saw Zips down 40 to 38. Then Tavari Johnson playing well. I think he had three assists in that game. He did. Zero turnovers, 17 yeah. minutes in a big game like that, an elimination game. It was absolutely terrific. It's huge for us. Even though we, we had taken a lead, Ohio won't go away. They come back. They're going to lead 44 43. Then Tribble picks up his fourth foul, and you got a decision to make. Yeah, no question. And fortunately for us, Tavari was playing so well. Yeah that we were able to ride with him. Here's Ali making a big time shot over the top of Hathaway, uh, making a lot of plays for us. Freeman gets the offensive rebound off his own free throw miss, which you That's don't big. see very often, and secures it and puts it back in there. But uh, we just made a ton of plays in this one, man. This particular in the second half, here's Ali with the jab three, big shot, uh, big shot, using his height and size at 6'8 over the top of the smaller Hunter. So. I think we had an 11-point run in that second half, Coach. 4.32 left, and we're up 6, 54, 48. But again, Ohio's not going to go away. Come They're going to battle back, back again. again. You know, Kent does the same thing the next night. We'll talk about that as we get to game three here shortly. But you're absolutely right. I mean, there's another three by Freeman. Freeman has just really improved immensely, extending his range. Joe, he didn't even shoot threes his first couple years. That's right. You know, so he's really, through player development, the work, his hard work and the work of our assistant coaches and support staff just continued to grow uh, in multiple areas with his game over the course of the five years. So Enrique with a big block there and shaking the shaking hands after that one. Enrique Freeman, a monster game coach, 24 points, 21 rebounds, seven blocks, unbelievable seven numbers. Blocks. Almost a triple dub. My son Camden said to me after the game, he said, Dad, I've never seen a triple double with blocks. He almost got it, three more blocks, he gets a triple double. And, one of the three categories being blocks. You don't see that very That's often, right. Joe. So right. a tremendous effort by our guys. Yeah. And I thought we'll get to it here in a minute. Expended a lot of energy oh, yeah. in that comeback, physically, emotionally, mentally. And everybody's got to play three games in three days. But of all the conference tournaments that we've played in and won, and we've been really blessed, yeah. I thought that second half at, uh, against Ohio required yeah. a lot of energy it impacted us a sure. little bit in the championship game, but as we'll get to here yeah. in a second, we ultimately found a way. Yeah. Zips beat Ohio 65-62. Now it's on to the championship game. A game they're going to be talking about probably for years to come. What a finish. What a game by the Zips. We're going to take a break, come back and watch highlights right after this. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs. 
and the little things that make a big difference. It takes the dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes E.H. Roberts Heating and Cooling. Find them at ehroberts.com. Well, it's on to the championship game of the tournament. Let's get right into highlights, Coach, because we have a lot to talk about. We talked about Ohio coming in hot. I thought Kent came in playing as well as anybody. Well, it's interesting because they had lost their last regular season game as well. And uh, credit to Rob, they were without Peyton. I thought the adversity uh, connected them. So when I watched uh, leading into this game, their quarterfinal win against Toledo, and their semi win against yeah. Bowling Green, I'm like, holy smokes. This, in my opinion, you'd have to ask Rob, the best they played yeah, all year. I agree. They yeah. were hot. Uh, they were connected. They had great chemistry. They had great purpose. thought Santiago and Selinger were playing at a high level as well as Von Cameron Davis. And I knew it was going to be a different type of game than the first two. Uh, as we were talking off the air there, my biggest concern was our physical, mental, emotional energy yeah. that we had expended the day before against Ohio to make the comeback. You know, uh, were we going to have enough in the tank? And fortunately, we did. I thought it affected us a little bit offensively. We weren't as good there and as crisp as we were the first two days. We made enough plays. Uh, Kent mucked it up a little bit, Joe. Went into more zone than I've ever seen Kent You're State right. play ever. You know, maybe dating back to Stan Heath. You yeah. know? So they typically don't do that. They mixed up defenses more. Really grinded the game and did a great job of guarding us. Fortunately for us, our defense was equally as good. I'll tell you, there's a good series there, Coach. I think uh, Michael Dawson's going to hit a three, then the fragrant foul on Kent. We came back with that little five-second second run there. Yeah, it was a big play, big progression there. Most importantly, it also took the foul off of Freeman. That's right. Once they looked at the monitor, which was huge. Here, Nate Johnson makes a big three on the pick-to-picker action. I'll, I'll leave with a great pass again, just continuing to make guys better uh, throughout the course of the three games and three days. There you see bodies going to the floor. It's that type of game, you know. When you're playing for a championship, both teams are going to exert a lot of energy. And certainly what added fuel to the fire was, was Kent. You know, anytime you play them, I don't care where the game's played, when it's played, it's going to have a different edge to it. You and I both yep. know that. And so I thought both teams played that way. I'll tell you, I'm assuming one of the defensive game plans was to slow down uh, Santiago and Sel Selinger, who were shooting the ball so well. They were, but our goal was to try to take away the three-point line, and they did a good job, our guys did. Other than the beginning of the second half, Joe, we made a couple errors and let okay. Selinger make threes. Because, you know, our deal was, can we make him inefficient? And what that means is, can he take more shots than he scores points? And we did it. He took 23 shots to get, I believe, 21 points. Um... So that was the goal, and we were able to do that. Having said that, they hurt us from two, which is why it was a game, you know. But uh, great lob play out of the timeout there against the zone uh, where we execute on the lob to Nate for an M1, and then we get a big steal here. Um, obviously still down one, five to go. Rike makes a big three, and we go on a little bit of a run here, Joe, yes. to get up 59-52 with three and change, and like any Ken Akron game, it's not over. So you got to keep playing. Um, thought they made some plays. We missed some blockouts. And quite frankly, without getting into detail, obviously, I didn't think the officiating was great uh, in the last two to three minutes of the game. And, uh, but it's part of the deal, and you got to find a way to overcome it. We were able to do that, obviously, capped by Greg's two big free throws uh, that we'll see here shortly. Yeah, we were up uh, with 3.31 to go. We're up seven. And then with 141 left, the game's tied 59-59. A big, big call. You can't comment on this, Coach, but a big call off the ball on Ali Ali that was huge. And yeah, now yeah. Kent's going to come back. And my opinion, it wasn't something you call at that time of the game. It really wasn't a foul. And it's just my opinion. I certainly have respect for the officials. And, and uh, those guys earned the right to officiate the championship game. So, But there's the tip in there. 
and with 6.2 there we get five. We had six seconds. Um, you know, a lot of people, Joe, you know, point a finger at the kid who fouled, you know. There's a lot of plays in the game, number one, and there's six seconds when Greg gets the ball. So how do you know he's not going to come steaming down the court with an advantage and make a shot with six seconds? It's not You're like right. it's one second. And then if he didn't have anything, we had time to call timeout, and we got two or three special situation plays. We run with two or three seconds sure. side out. And how do you know we're not going to make a shot off one of those? You're right. So I hate that for uh, the young man. But, uh, you know, obviously we made enough plays there to finish it off. And only fitting that Greg Tribble would make right. those two free throws. You know, he'd struggled to make the two against Eastern in the last home game. Yes. And here's this guy who's put in all this work up there, down one with 4.8 to go, nails both of them. Exactly. Couldn't have been happier for him and obviously an exciting finish for the Zips. Yes. Freeman and Ali all tournament. Of course, Enrique Freeman, the tournament MVP. Listen to these numbers over the three games. 71 points, 42 rebounds, 12 blocks, 7 assists. That's amazing, isn't it? Unreal. <laughs> we don't need to say anything We don't have else. to say anything more, right? Yeah. We're going to take a break. We're going to say a lot about March Madness right after this. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes E.H. Roberts Heating and Cooling. Find them at ehroberts.com. Our weekly scouting report all season long brought to you by the Hilton Fairlawn Hotel, 3180 West Market out in Akron, out on the west side. And coach, the Creighton Blue Jays out of the Big East. Head coach Greg McDermott has built a powerhouse in Omaha. Yeah, to say the least, right? Yeah. And I know, uh, Greg, I've gotten to know him over the years through some Nike uh, functions. Uh, great person, great yeah. coach. You know, they're ranked in the top 25, Joe, in both offensive and defensive yeah. efficiency. They've got the All-American and unanimous first-team All-League player, Shireman, Baylor Shireman, who's an unbelievable player, a load offensively because he's so skilled and has great positional size. And then they've got the three-time Defensive yeah. Player of the Year in the Big East, Kalkbrenner, who's seven foot, 250 plus pounds, blocks shots, affects the rim. Uh, so they're good at both ends, O and D. They've had great wins all year. Uh, one of the best teams in the country. So. It'll be a real challenge. We're looking forward to competing against them and excited that it's in Pittsburgh. I was so going to say that. It's a short drive for yeah. our fans, our families. I mean, they can get there, obviously, from Akron in about an hour and a half. Yeah, looking forward to a lot of Zip fans being over in Pittsburgh on Thursday. Talking about the fans, Coach, I want to give you a second to talk about the tremendous fan response we got in Cleveland. Thank you to the thousands of oh, fans that awesome. came up there. Yeah, and I'm biased, obviously. It's but like a I, home game. I think game. if an objective yeah. person would have said we have more people, it was louder. Zips Nation was awesome, yep. uh, and it got loud in there when we needed them to get loud in there and kind of give our guys, re-energize them a little bit at yep. times uh, when, we, when we didn't maybe have quite the pep in our step that we did the first two days. So we're very thankful for Zips Nation. Yeah, I talked to you after the uh, championship game, Coach, against Canton. I said, we're in March Madness. doesn't matter who we play, when we play, where we play. You're just glad to be there. Yeah, you're glad to be in it. you got to play somebody that's yep. good. Right, everybody that's playing this time of year yeah. is good. They're a good basketball team. It's the reason they're in March Madness. So we realize uh, and uh, how good Creighton is, and certainly respect what they've done. And uh, we got to get ready to go. And uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity yep. in Pittsburgh. Coach, congratulations on bringing the trophy back to Akron, and uh, we'll talk to you over in Pittsburgh. Best of luck over there. Sounds good, Joe. Okay. Looking forward to seeing all of Zips Nation over there. There you go. For the coach, I'm Joe Dunn. Thanks for watching. Always remember, go Zips. Thanks for watching. Zips Weekly with John Gross. Sponsored by Bryant Heating and Cooling.
and the Hilton Hotels in Akron and Fairlawn. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.